has passed for a week. So how are you keeping up with your New Year's resolutions? Have you been actually trying to make it happen? Or did you just move on with your life, keep on watching your Netflix videos, or mindlessly scrolling on your Instagram just like how you're used to? It's pretty common that people forget about their New Year's resolutions right after they said it. I used to be one of them. But four years ago, I decided to take my New Year's resolution seriously and actually make it happen. And it freaking changed my life. So let me tell you, four years ago, the three New Year's resolutions that I set is to work out regularly, to drink more water, and to read more books. So how I did it is I tried to quantify it. So I told myself that I want to work out three to four times a week. And I want to drink two liters of water every day. And I would read one book for one month. And it seems achievable. But bear in mind that I was never one to work out regularly before. I was never even like active in school when I was in high school and all that. So it's kind of a mission. So how I did it is I actually split all of this New Year's resolutions into mini tasks and I put them into a checklist app that I was using at that time which is Wonderlist. But you know, you don't really have to use this app, it was just the one that I was using. You can just use the note on your iPhone or the keep note on your Android. There are tons of tools out there that you can use to keep yourself in tech. So every week I would have workout 1, workout 2, workout 3, workout 4 listed on my app. And then every day I would ask myself, like a reminder, did you drink 8 liters of water? Is it 8? No, no, no! 8 cups of water, 2 liters. 8 cups of water, 2, li two liters of water. Yeah, that was, that was my goal. I wasn't that crazy. But yeah, so every day I would set that reminder on my to-do list too. And I would also have book 1, book 2, book 3, book 4, like listed on my to-do list app. So that was how I kept track of it. And of course there are weeks that I was so busy with school that I only managed to work out twice a week but I didn't stop. The following week I still keep going back and doing it. And at the end of the year, I became definitely stronger physically. Like it actually happened and I felt so good about myself. But it didn't stop there. I kept on doing it the coming year. I started running and I even completed a 21 kilometers half marathon in the second year. So what I'm trying to say is by achieving a New Year's resolutions, you don't just achieve that direct goal that you have. Yes, I achieved my New Year's resolutions of working out regularly, but it actually opened up new potentials that I never knew I had. Like legit, I would never expect myself to be able to run 21 kilometers in like two hours back in high school because I used to skip all the sports activities in school like I just it's just never my thing that's the thing about keeping with your nearest resolution and making it happen because they don't just help you achieve the direct goal that you have but they also help you open up like new potentials that you never knew you have and that satisfaction that comes with it for knowing that you have so much potential and being daring and confident to achieve even more in life it really changed my life it really helped me and that is why I'm sharing this with you today because when I started keeping up with my New Year's resolution just four years ago it changed my life like I've said this so many times but I just have to say it again and again because it did and I really want you to enjoy from this too so I'm just letting you know here you know so my task for you today is to pick one year's resolutions that you have this year and to really take it really seriously. You don't have to like push yourself if you're not someone who's like used to setting goals and trying to achieve them. Just pick one. Just do one and start putting it in your calendar app or your to-do list app or whatever app you choose to, to do, you know. It doesn't have to be fancy. It could even be a paper calendar that you are used to doing. Just do it. Just freaking do it. You will thank me later. <laughs> I'm serious about it, okay? Just do it. And that concludes my mini motivational video for today. I am so excited to make my New Year's resolutions this year happen, which is to be more active on YouTube, see what I'm doing right here, and also to start 
introducing workout back into my life because I actually stopped working out for the past maybe four months because I was so busy with my side hustle business that I I just had to pause workout and make all the time after work to do my side hustle and right now after I'm I've decided to start my business which you can find out more about it here by clicking on this link I have more time and I really want to get fitness back into my everyday life those are my two New Year's resolutions and I want you to share with me your one New Year's resolutions this year in the comment down below we are gonna help each other achieve that okay <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video from me if you do please subscribe subscribe and subscribe it would mean a lot to me and if you're worried that you don't get notifications then please turn on the notification bell at the side of the subscribe button because that is gonna let you know every time I post a new video that's all I have for today I hope you have a really good day okay I'll see you in my next one bye bye